You've got a very thorough approach to this side of the business. In, in previous years, we've seen players brought in almost because it was needed at that moment. There's no panic with yourself. It's always a let's get the right man type process. Yeah, definitely. Uh, one of the things I learned from Neil Warner was, uh, was don't panic. Um, because yeah, cause panic spreads. I and mean, when, when I first came part of my interview, interview pre process, uh, I did mention to John Nixon, I said, the, the one thing I don't do is I don't panic. Uh, and I think within a week of being here, I bought, I bought John a mug. It said that uh, it says on the mug, don't panic. Uh, and uh, he uses it on a daily basis now. <laughs> I'm not panicking because I've got the mug. Just on the FA Cup, Keith, you keep using that message to express yourself. Is the game like going to Peterborough with them flying high in League One? A chance to really take the shackles off. Yeah, definitely. Um, we're, again, we will show it. We will show them respect, uh, but we won't fear them. That, that was a message that came out a couple of weeks ago. Um, as a group of players, as a football, as a football team, as a, and that's the, the staff, players, even supporters. We want to respect everybody that uh, earns respect, but we don't fear anybody. And just on that, looking at, I'm going to go back to the lads lying on the floor at the final whistle. Everybody was out on their feet. How much is the feeling of pride when you look at the stands and the crowd are up, the players are all dead, and they've done that for the club, for yourself? Excellent. I mentioned it as a phrase of the when players empty the tank. It's, uh, there's, there's no better feeling because you, you're coming off the pitch. And, but, and you, but you want that feeling, win, lose or draw, that, that, that you've emptied the tank and you've thrown everything into your performance because you've thrown everything, you've given everything for your, prof <coughs> for your profession to try and get the result. That's all you can ask for. Then I'll take care of results. All they've got to do is they've got to be prepared to do that. And just the last one from me, Keith. High praise for, for Mark Beck. Again, with a, a guy who's six foot six or whatever he is in, in the past, we've seen a tendency to go long, go early. We're not seeing that. There's a different kind of role for him at the moment. Yeah, definitely. Um, we, 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 Every now and again, we need a focal point, where, where, and Mark's developing into, into a key player uh, in the team, but he's enjoying himself. He will, come, uh, he will come into a little bit of criticism, uh, criticism at times because because he's a focal point uh, and he's an easy target. But he's getting a reward because he's scoring goals. He's, he's getting goal mass opportunities, uh, which is what we want because we know with his ability he will score goals.